Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing of Shadows of Brimstone's Forgotten Fortress corset. Hello guys, how are you? I'm not doing too bad. Um, finally I've actually got the Forbidden Fortress. I know it's actually been out for a while, but I did the Kickstarter so I've got a lot of other bits that come with it. I also brought my trusty box cutter to help me open up uh, bits. Also guys, I'm having a vote on this video. Just in case you didn't know, I've already done the, um, um, a look at the Gastral Tyrant uh, pack, enemy pack already. So guys, the vote basically I'm having for on this video and whatever I collect on the other one is any one of the other bits here, because I don't want to open up one of the other card packs till I've done all the enemies here. So if you want me to do the Hero Class or the Flesh Mites or the Akanam Tongue Demon or the Take or Break Cannon. I know I've pronounced that so bad. The Thunder Warriors or the very bottom one I can't pronounce very well. So let me know in the comments down below and I'll add up the votes from this one and the, uh, the other one for my next unboxing. So guys, yes, this is the Forbidden Fortress. I've been really looking forward to getting this. I've actually been starting to make some of the bits I've, I'm still so far behind making. I've bought myself another case, uh, a box for the uh, enemy bits. Now I need to open or get the clean film bits off. And then I'm going to try and read a little bit of fluff. And I use the words try because I do have dyslexia and sometimes it does make it awkward for me. Oh, this looks cool. I do, I love the artwork. And I always love the smell of a new board game as well, so. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm also a little worried because there's been some things on Facebook of people showing that the, the card inside may be a little, something may be wrong, so I'm hoping that's not the case. So as we're looking at the front here, you can see what looks like a ninja, samurai, and I wouldn't even know where to begin with these. I'm thinking that must be some form of priest. I think that would be a healer of the group. So yeah, okay, so I'm looking at the, the other things. Undead, demons, that's probably a living statue at the back there. I could be wrong. Oni, I believe that's how you pronounce them. The acid, see, see there's gonna be a few things here I'm gonna have a hard time probably pronouncing, so I'm gonna warn you guys about that now. Hopefully it will open for me. Let's have a good smell inside the box. Oh, it's got a lovely, lovely new box smell. Right, so there is so much stuff in front of me here, guys. Um, I'm not even okay, so let's get the miniatures to one side for a second. We'll have a look at that in a sec. Oh, good, there is a bit, and I do like the fact that the stands are inside with the models as well. Let's just take some of this, put the models all to one side. We're gonna have a look in a second. I'm not sure what's what at this second, and I don't want to call them by their names. Okay, so, yes, so, it's a sorceress, is one of the hero ones. I was right with samurai, a monk, travelling monk, and assassin, not ninja. I believe that's the Oni, dishonoured dead. Tenjo, it looks like some form of demon, flying demon. That's kind of cool, though, because I might actually use that in roleplay. Uh... Acidic, acidic tentacles, only has two poses. Wow, I'm probably going to have to check how to pronounce that. And the living statue. Nothing on the other side, so that's nice they've got this bit to the, for helping to build it. I'm going to put that straight over there, so I can see it as well. You also get a nice little catalogue as well, showing you some of their other games. Have to say, I've got quite a few bits. I think I should be ticking some of these off myself just to see which ones I actually have. Because there are one or two other sets I believe that are coming. Yeah, I've got the other worlds. The only one I haven't got yet, because I pre-ordered it with these guys and hopefully it does turn up. I think I've got all of this. Let me just have a look. Yeah, I've got all of this. And I've done unboxings, I believe, for practically all of this. The only thing I don't have, I own all of these as well. I've done unboxings for all of this. I believe it's, there's a couple of things I haven't got though. I'm, I'll be the first to admit that. I haven't got any of the paint sets. I should pick up the paint sets because I tell you how to do, to do it. 
Then you get a D8 and a per, per, uh, Peril Dice and loads upon loads of D6s which are useful in this. These are the cards. I'm going to come to these at the end. There are a few things. Um, I'm probably, there might be a little cut in a bit where I need to learn how to pronounce things. And I might even move the uh, rule book to one side. Okay, so this is the adventure book. Ah, so there is that symbol for Forbidden Fortress. I don't want to show too much. I don't want to show the character's produ productions. Or anything like that. It looks nice. This actually looks and feels better than the, the first one. But this is the adventure book anyway. So to, oh, I might have to give that a good read in a second. I love the maps. This is really cool. I wish, you know what, Flying Frog, please think about doing a role play. I'd be really interested in it, uh, if you guys did that. Maybe convince some friends to give it a go. Okay, missions, I don't really want to show too much. So, there is a basic missions and forgotten uh, forbidden fortress missions. Okay, so not sure about. Okay, so just flick through quickly. Is there going to be belly of the beast ones? Yeah, there is. Living a living world. Okay, so if it please kill it. This is kind of cool. So you got Armageddon. Spanish gold. See, that's interesting. That means I think there was already planning the other Kickstarter. Travelling to town. I don't want to show too much here, guys. So, yeah, sort of nice little bits here. Uh, don't want to show the levelling up part. I don't want to get myself into trouble. I'm going to have a quick look at certain other bits in a second, though. Uh, Belly of the Beast. Overall enemies, so you can take a sort of look at this. This is the disorientated enemies. The Tengo Highborn Rave uh Highborn on Raven Wings. The Domenic Okay. This is all sort of interesting. I think they're like basically ogres. The Oni. Or Oni, I'm not one percent sure how they pronounce it. I like the fact they are showing like Things going on in the new world, how to paint them, that's cool. I'll also to let you guys know, hopefully I'll be getting an upgraded, oh no, travel table, do not show. Um, mutation table, kind of cool, looks the same to me. And cool, so character sheets and more bits. I believe they're saying what you can get, I believe I, I have all this. Okay, so let's put that in there for the second. Let's lift this up. This is the rule book. Feels thicker than the last one. Um, it's 39 pages, so I'm assuming it is. I think there must be a lot more information inside here on what to do. Character sheets. I don't want to show it again. don't want to go right through everything. I'm gonna have to try try this. Uh, get one of my friends over. Try this at some point. Feels all right. Doesn't feel too bad. Feels nicer than the other rule book. Been a while since I played Shadows of Brim, so I'll be honest, guys. I'd love to be able to do a uh, video for you guys again, but well, apart from I did make some little mistakes on the first. Of oh, flame template. That's kind of cool. It's nice. I think this is. Probably done better. Acidic blob. That's the creature I'm very much. Uh, what really got me? Why like, I'm going Shogun. For so. Yeah, let's put that over there. Then you got your injury tables, the same as the old ones. Uh, oh, there's a CD at the bottom. I might have to listen to that CD. Another little town bit. Don't want to show again. Don't want to show too much here. Otherwise, don't want to get myself into trouble. But you got the feudal village. Uh, you've got the village market, you've got the guard house, you've got the shrine, obviously like a temple, you've got the healers, again this is, looks very very almost similar, tavern, you have no honour, okay I'm going to have to 
Do you know what? I'm probably going to examine this to see how close it is to the the other one. But again, I don't I don't want to show too much there. I've got a CD. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I have to say. Uh, obviously, you've got your character. So you've got your assassin. Your sort of assassin here. Like the fact. So this could be like your gunslinger, if I'm being honest. It's got low. Well, oh, it's got mm, got better health. Got good agility. Starts with a. Oh, so you've got to choose certain things here. That's kind of cool. Uh, you got the Samurai Warrior, Sorceress, Travelling Monk. You got the Dishonored Dead. You got the Dishonored Dead. I, I want to show more, but I'm just trying to do a quick unboxing here, guys. Dishonored Dead. Uh, Her Herringo. Uh, when you're dyslexic, guys, it's. She kind of seems scary, if I'm being honest. Uh, living Statue. Acetic blobs. That's cool. But are they, do they move? Yeah, they do. That's cool. I'm hoping they bring out a model for that. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, so there's a few enemies. Again, as I said, you get a CD. I might have to listen to this. because I did, I did actually like the old um, one that came with the... Uh, this. Now, I do like this. This is a lot more room inside. Oh, excuse me. A lot more sort of room, a lot more easier to get your cards out. Uh, so there's quite a few card packs here. Part of me wants to open them up and have a look. Again, this is just going to be a quick unboxing, guys. Uh, did they say there's a monk card missing from the heroes for some people? Let's see if mine's at least got that. That suddenly made me think, did I see four? No, I saw four. The Travelling Monk. This interests me. Uh, I might do another video talking just about the enemies from the pack, showing the uh, miniatures and stuff like that, guys. Um, let's lift this up because otherwise this video will take a long time. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. Now, there's a reason why I want to look, look at this because someone got a load of mold on theirs, and I don't. I'm hoping I don't, and I doesn't look like I do, which is making my day if I'm being honest. Okay. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do a video talking about the heroes. Not their upgrades, obviously, guys, but maybe what they can start with and stuff like that. And maybe the monsters as well. Okay, so, guys, your wound tokens. I've forgotten how many of these things... Sorry, guys, I realise I haven't turned the light on behind me. Yeah, these do look cool. Again... So many more tokens. Now, I'm assuming that I know what banjis are. Saki, I think I know it's Bomb, is obviously Dynamite. Toxic, I don't know what that one would be though. Again, because I haven't played for a little time. And so, I really wish we got little models for those, the um, acidic blobs. Maybe I do, maybe I've got it in the other bit. I'll, I'll, I might have a look for that in a second. So, my next, the next one to be dragged out, I'm going to grab this one here. And then there's a bit here that says potion. Yeah, it does say potion. I need to focus, but at the same time, I don't want to cause things to fly out of this. Focus. Look at the right. So let me come down here. Let me lift this a little, guys, so we get a slight bit of. Sorry for the glare. Now I'm not even too sure what the hell that room would be. Um, that's the end of like. Heart passages, that, that room just looks really bloodied. You've got herbs as well. So I think they're starting off with, there's an entangled sort of bit here. So we turn it over. And that looks like a really broken room. I love how the light is shining through the window on the tiles. Ah, it's slightly off on the print. Doesn't seem to affect the cards. This side it's correct. But if you look at the other side on these, they're just slightly off. So that's not a big problem as long as that bit's not a problem. That's what I say. But it's slightly annoying, but it doesn't look too bad on the other bits, if I'm being honest. Like the room itself. As long as they're alright, I don't mind. So let's put that one there. 
All right, so let's grab another one. I did, originally I got this, Not I wasn't overly keen on playing uh, Feudal Japan. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be honest about that. Um, but it's worn off for me since, you know, more of the enemies and stuff like that I've seen. So yeah, that looks kind of cool. That's just a passageway. Some more little passageways, um, bits for other worlds. I'm just seeing if everything looks like it's in place. Okay, the Val Sorceress. Maybe there's a mission for that, hey guys? Again, don't 100% know. Again, these are slightly off, not a big problem for me. As long as the rooms aren't, that's all I care about. I do love the lighting they've done there. The tiles themselves are beautiful. You do get quite a lot of models with this as well, guys. Um, oh, that, that's got to be the guts. The acidic trait. That's, oh, man, I, you can't see it so well in this light. But it does look cool. It's very dark. Very. So there's some fury tokens. Something powder. Fire sake. Fury mana. Chi. Wow. Oh, there's the there's the template. That looks like acid one side. And then on the other, it's flame. Now that interests me. Because I'm assuming that quite a few things might use that. That looks cool. I do like the stairwell sort of going along. I like the fact they've now got these sort of lines showing. Where's some bits? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that looks like veins. Maybe that's a heart. Then I say that and then I see stuff like this. What's that? Extraction. Wow, I am loving what I'm seeing. Sorry, guys. Let's turn these over again. There's still these giant heart pieces. There's a temple to Buddha. I believe that's right. I could be saying the wrong person here, but the way the door's been smashed in at the front there, a little bit of blood on the ground. These are really well done. So, a nice bridge. I don't think, you know what guys, I see nothing wrong with my tiles. It was the main reason why this was my next unboxing. But as I said, let me know in the comments, would you like me to talk about the heroes? Maybe do a little video. I won't show how to upgrade them. I won't do any of stuff like that. But if you want me to talk about them and so on, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I do like this. This is kind of cool. And again with the monsters, let me know if you want me to do it. I'll try and do a video. Oh my god, that, do you know what? That looks like a giant anus. Or the exit to a giant anus. And I love how it's like all manky next to it. That is so cool. Just a, I like this actually. Kind of could even use this the other side. If I ever, with my friends, and I'm doing something for corn in the Warhammer roleplay, I could use some of these tiles really. Uh, there's an amlet token, an AB. Again, I don't never really know what to do with these AB bits. But another sort of room which is similar to the one we saw earlier. Where broken bits on the walls. But then this looks like a maybe a library or an office. That is cool, man. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be constantly saying cool, but I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. I, I was a little upset I think we didn't get this like almost as soon as it came out, but then at the same time, I'm going to be honest, this is looking so good, and I'm happy I've got it now anyway, so try not to be bitter about that. That is so nice to look at. And then there's, wow, there's a, is that the brain? Because it looks like there's electric currents going between, or nervous system maybe. So it's some burn token, burning tokens. And on this side, you've got what looks like a, I don't know, it's like the door's been smashed in, or the wall. Spear on the ground. And then this looks like a kitchen? It's like a giant cauldron. Food preparing areas, maybe. Or even, a, yeah, maybe. I could be completely and utterly wrong, though. 
what that's meant to represent. And I've got a few more of these left, guys. So, all right, so there's another one of those ones that looks like there's a load of, I don't know, maybe these are jump tests, jump between certain bits. And then there's another, don't even know what to think about this. Is it part of the kidney, bladder? Pe dead people as well? I suppose you could say they're the heroes. Um, and then a giant bath, bathroom. Nice little garden bits, a gateway to another world. Yeah, I, my only worry is, guys, could, uh, it's the storage of this now, because it's got, I've got the other Kickstarter I've done as well for it, so there's a hell of a lot of stuff here, there's a lot of corridors, both sides, again lanterns, maybe that's for, uh, for light, the, you can't really see the elite bits, it's, that's useful, quite a few elite bits, flasks. And then on the other side, it just looks like normal corridor sort of pieces and so on. All right. Oh, almost. And there's your good old entrance. That's cool. There's your corruption tokens. I swear we've got more of them. So yeah, this, and there's your tracker. Now I've got the cowboy resin one upstairs. So I'd still be using that if I'm being honest. Yeah, this looks so good. It really, really looks good to me. Um, I want to open the cards, and I don't want to open the cards just straight away. I should really... Oh, I need to be careful when I put the plastic thing back in. So, Because I need to be able to get this all back. Without any big problems for myself, or damaging tiles underneath. So, eek, that's the noise I didn't want to hear. So I'll, I'll try and do all that in a second. Well, obviously, you've got some other bits. They talk about the bleeding mark markers, some of the rules. I'm, there's so many different cards here. Do you know what? Uh, wait a uh, I'm not going to show too much here, guys. Uh. Right, so you've obviously got your rules, your rule ones. So... You've got about your bleeding markers on one side, then you've got about your grit, hero's grit. You've also got what your herb tokens are. Oh, sorry. And strong sucky token. Oh, wow. So that basically, oh, that's kind of cool. And some other bits as well. Then you've got some barriers, res movement restriction rules. So I'm rising up. So that's the dead sort of like looking tokens. You got some covers, oh, that's cool. Well, let's just so there's other bits about warrior tactics, hits, uh, status effect. Oh, sorry, so in, when you're in sneered, that's kind of cool. Poison, a lot of these actually have stuff on the other side. Chai Chi, so it's for the traveling, traveling monk, that's cool. Fury, what are the something else I've missed? The what the different symbols are, nice little reminder, casting spells now. This would have been kind of cool to have with Shadow, the normal Shadows of Brimstone. How to cast spells and stuff like that. Bouncing rules, that's really cool to have. Bombs, basically... Yeah, they're dynamite. They're your dynamite from the Fire Saki. Oh, uh, Samurai only. As to his fury, so that's kind of cool. So then you've got the starting gear. There's a... Should be a few of them, really. Starting gear. So you've got a few starting gears here. I'm just going to grab this one for a second. I'm assuming it's for stealth, uh, stealth only. No, ninjuratu. Uh, your combat hits are criticals on rolls. Wow, stealth only. That's kind of cool. So I need to try and make sure that goes back near the. Yeah, where well, that was, because that probably means, well, there's the old lantern, that's kind of cool. The samurai armor, uh, warriors, so there's a lot of other bits here. Obviously, I'm going to try and, as I said, if I do the warriors, I'll, I'll try and do the cards with them. I need to keep some of this so I can see it at the same time. And So, so you've also got, like, the belly of the beast. 
tile cards. I'm gonna mean there's gonna be gotta be a good few of these. Well yeah there is. Uh so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one of these here. So I'm just gonna pick two. One two. I'll do that and then I'll put this lot over to here. As I said, I'm not gonna show the models. In this one, if you want me to do the monsters and stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below. So you've got a corner passage, the usual ones. Draw, uh, draw an encounter token. Uh, draw a passage encounter when this is. Oh, so there's passage encounters. That's kind of cool. A flesh chamber. So that's okay. Fair enough. The sort of thing that I would like to use. So there's nothing special about that. That's kind of cool. Oh, wait a minute, that big one that I thought was a massive sphincter. It is. And pull in, pulled in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that one means, but it just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Okay, so let's work my way along. So there's um, some enemy threat cards for that world. I'm hoping maybe one or two of them acidic blobs, acidic blobs, acidic blobs, and parasite tentacles. And devoured dead. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I wish, I'm hoping we can get some cards for like the cowboy, you know, like the Western world enemies and stuff like that. There's, so there's some artifacts as well. Some artifacts cards here. There's some passage encounters. Now, that's quite a few. See, this scares me. Can you... Do you know Passage Encounters? Can you anyone let me know in the comments? I only have a chance to read the rule book. But are these actually included in the normal in the normal Shadows of Brimstone? You like could, could I do this or is this just for the belly that's uh, just for Belly of the Beast? So I'm gonna pull this one out and see what it says. Grinding teeth. The passage is lined with razor sharp teeth in the ring of Corvus bones. Instead in inserted in the walls. The teeth grind against one another as the bone jawed rings spin in their mucus field grove. At the end of the turn, any hero on this map tile on this map tile takes D6 or 2D6 of the heroes. Wow! D6 hits. When it says hits though, it, I'm assuming it only means one wound. That's kind of cool. Remains in play as well. That's... I'll put that over to there. I like the idea, you know, like passage encounters and stuff like that. So there's artifacts here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There is fifteen. I'm just going to do this for the minute, guys. I'm going to pick one. Ugh. And now let's turn this around, and it is stem gels. Jelly, sorry. Discard to heal 2d6 wounds, or heal a, a single injury, or mute, or discard to heal... Wow! That's really useful. That's kind of cool at the same time. So there's other things here. Basically, like, spine as a blade, that's kind of cool. Bile sack... Yeah, so there's some nice stuff here. There's even a pistol gun. That's kind of cool. Okay, so one of them has minus one damage to it. Okay, fair enough. It's a shame. But yeah, this is kind of cool. I want to see... Uh, there's another parasite as well. Sorry, guys. I was reading things and... Yeah. So let's put them there for the minute. Okay, so you've also got a load of encounter cards. Let's see if they're, they're encounter cards all the way. Yep. So Belly of the Beast Kent encounter cards. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's just do one for a second. I don't like showing too much of encounter cards and stuff, if I'm being honest. Guys, I feel we give something away, but when I'm only showing one, I don't see it as a big problem. 
Okay, a blast, uh, bloated blood tick. Belly of the beast encounter. Okay, with a nightmarish shriek, a massive and bloated blood tick lunges f from the shadows, attempted to, to attach onto you and feed. Uh, ran I think that random. Aha! I'm swearing that's a random hero symbol. Agility or strength. If successful, you outmaneuver or outpower the blood tick before it can attach itself, crushing it into the fl uh, fleshy wall. You are covered by the corrosive blood within the within the creature. Gain 25 experience. You, you and every other hero within two spaces takes. Damn. So you basically. Alright, so if you pass, but if you fail, the giant blood tick attaches itself to you. Take this card as a parasite whilst you have this card. You are corruption plus two corruption resistance. But each time the darkness moves forward on the death track, take one wound. Ignores armor and defense. Oh, see, that was really interesting, that. I've, for an encounter. Right, there's the starting ability stuff in this other set. This quite a few other card sets here so yeah I'm not going to show much more of the cards guys there's quite a few bits here um, kind of liking what I just sort of saw though I said I might do another video at some point actually I want to see if there's passage sorry guys I want to see if there's passage uh, stuff just for um I don't want to damage the cards, please, please, please do not let me damage cards as I'm taking the plastic hell because it was not that tight on. So you've got your, you know, your starting bits for the heroes. Again, I'll probably try and get the starting bit. Growing Dread. It's always kind of cool. There's me saying I'm not going to open up another packet and then I just go and do it, don't I, guys? So the Growing Dread, I'm only going to pick one. I wonder if they're the same as these other starting ones. So there's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That don't seem the right number. Let me come back over here. Um, I don't know if there's a way of finding out. Let me have a look, quick look at the rule book. Sorry about this, guys. It's just I just want to make sure everything is all right here. So let me just put that down for a minute. Is it seven grain? Meant to be seven grain dread cards. Let's have a quick look. Yep, seven grown dread cards. I don't know why I thought it was going to be eight. Okay, fair enough. I've wasted a bit of time there trying to find something out, but I'd rather do that. Okay, I'm just going to grab one to have a look at. And this one is demonic laughter. A dark and twisted laughter echoes through the echoes through the walls. It knows why you've come, and that you are already too late. Each hero must take a Spirit test of five. For each hero that fails, move the darkness forward on the depth track or two steps. Two steps if three or fewer heroes of the uh, pass. Oh, bloody hell. Or, or two steps if three or fewer heroes in the party. Bloody hell. Excuse my language. Uh, <laughs> so there's some other ones here. So it seems similar to the other, the original ones. I, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to keep that slightly to one side for the second. Um, again, I want to, because of the party and their starting equipment, I might leave. Yeah, let's just leave things where they are in the in the set for the sec, and then I'll sort it out later. So you got the darkness cards. I'm assuming there's seven or eight of these. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 of them. I'm only going to take one of these out to have a look. Let's turn this around. Cold Vengeance. All undead do plus one more damage on their attacks and one sanity damage on any horror they cause. Wow! So they're similar to the one I remember, but it's also a lot more dangerous. Uh, Spirit Swarm is another one. Spirit Swarm is exactly this, uh, two of them. 
creatures of legend. There's two of them. Overpowered and overpowered. Okay, so there's a few nice little things here. Kind of liking. I like this. This is really interesting me as I'm sort of going along. So we've also got the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we've got the scavenge cards. Again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I'm really actually enjoying doing this. This is it's making me want to get my set out and play again. I've got so many heroes as well. I could maybe continue. Oh, chilling dread. Okay, it's 10 XP. Draw a dread cut. Oh, that's a horrible, the horrible, horrible one I remember. I wonder if you can mix these, or are they just for the fortress? I suppose, yeah, if you're doing the fortress ones, these ones make a lot more sense if you're in the Ch Chinese, uh, or if you're in the dungeon, make sure... Sorry, dungeon. Mine. Make sure you're using the mine ones. But it does mean I need to make sure certain things are separated, and... Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got your usual loot cards. Again, I don't want to open them all up, so let's just grab that one there. Let's have a quick look. That one is a cash. A coin catcher. Fifty dollars. It was only be yen if it was uh, in Japan, wasn't it? So you've got the dark stone shards, you've got draw gear, obviously. Artifact. Blood money. So it's it is basically the same as the, the other one, the other sets, except for more Japanese themed. Now one of the things I'm really liking here though guys is I want to make sure so is it three for each? Yes. So I don't know if you saw a card set I did that had the talents and stuff like that for well guess what? You can do it for the living statue. That's kind of cool. I don't I'm not gonna show any of these actually. Um all I'm gonna say is you can get one made of wood, one made of stone, one made of metal. And then you can get the same for the thing I cannot pronounce, which I'm guessing is a mini boss or a boss. They're there as well. Maybe in one of my other videos I'll show, you know, for the enemies I'll show one or two. You've got your, obviously, you've got your fret cards, you've got your epics. There's quite a few epic ones here, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm not going to show too much here, but I just want to see if they're all, any have belly of the beast in them. No, they don't. Okay, I was kind of hoping one of them would. Kind of an enemy for there. Uh, so you've got your high, there's a few high ones as well. So yeah, so obviously. So let's put that there for a second. So then you've also got some more stuff over here. Sorry guys, I'm trying to be careful not to damage any of the cards. Now, again, I think you'd have to keep maybe certain personal items separate. Because I, I don't think like like certain things would be I don't know I suppose if you've got a wandering uh, person in the mines you'd use the American one so there's some personal items here in the Wild West would you, would you guys mix these ones I don't know I'm I'm asking you guys would you or would you say well if I'm playing in if I'm starting a character from the Japanese lot I'll take one from this or if I'm starting someone from the Western one I would take another one from there just let me know in the comments down below guys okay so I'm going to quickly grab this one I'm going to quickly turn this around and we're going to see what it is I would really like this one lock of hair personal plus two health and plus two sanity now for me that could be used in the other one anyway um lotus flower no uh battle groves gloves maybe worn ribbon so there's a few nice little things here, I'm not going to lie. I'm liking the look of what I'm seeing. Again, I'd put that near my character my character bits. So I would like to try and keep certain bits separate. So like I've got the, wiz um, the wizards, the priests stuff all sort of together. So we've got a load of... Yeah, this will be mo quite a few there. Okay. So I've also got the deck tiles for the... Fortress, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18. So let's see what the lucky one I'm going to draw out is. And that is short passage. Yeah, balls, that's going to be the one I'm going to put out. Um, it's, sorry, guys. It says no expiration token. I would, again, I really like the idea of there being certain bits that happen. I'm going to pull out another one here and hopefully this is a room. Yes, the bathroom. And again, there is an encounter that you can have called Black Water. Kind of cool. So guys, have you know, like you got realise I haven't even got round to playing this part yet. Do you find it better than the original, or do you think, or, or are you more for the original? I've got so much stuff, and again, I know you can mix all of this, so that really in in interests me as well. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm gonna probably pull two out. Okay, so I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to pull that one, and hopefully I can read what it says. Okay, so the first one is Lucky Discovery. The room, the room is filled with overturned counter um, counters and broken boxes, containers. Sorry, and broken boxes. They may be something of value. All of under all of these things, if you find luck, oh, things are falling forward. Sorry, it's just disturbing me. Uh, luck, if you, uh, if successful, you draw a luck card. If no hero passes the test, your luck has run out. Ambush attack. Treat, uh, draw a threat card for the heroes. The next one, something's under the floor. I don't know. That sound kind of sounds alienish to me. Quick, quiet, quiet. Sorry. Pause to listen, you hear a faint knocking coming from beneath the floor. Something is down there. You may be able to pry up some of the boards. Strength test. If successful, I think that says when you choose a hero. That's the whole group. Yeah, so. Uh, if successful, gain 20 XP plus roll a D6. Ambush attack, draw a fret card. Ooh. Uh, charred body, take three horror hits. Uh... That dude, to, okay. Hidden stash draw, loot card, survivor. Hidden under the floorboard, she warns you of grave danger. Draw a gear card and you may draw up to two expiration tokens. Choosing one to put back and one to discard. Okay. And um, head of danger. Okay, fair enough. So that could help you finish a, a bit, a little bit quicker. So we've got some artifacts now coming. Wow, this is uh, well. Okay, so let's get all the to the all the artifacts cards. Again, it's I'd probably try and keep certain artifacts together for the certain sets and so on. Right, so this is going off for a long time. This one: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I'm only going to draw one. I'll draw the one in the middle, and let's turn it around. And this is the Elemental Kemono. Plus one mana. So it does. So it's for a performer or mucky or magic. Once per fight, you may add what you may add damage to one of your hits equal to the number of corruption points you currently have. Uh, don't like these things. I don't like it when you have to make yourself um, horrible and stuff like that. So there's other things here like the Ancient Scrolls, the Healing Stones, that's an old one. Uh, so yeah, these kind of things are kind of cool. Flink, uh, Fallen Pistol, it's an old Flink, Flint Pistol. A, yeah, there's a few nice things here. Kind of cool as well. I'd also, don't, I'm not sure I'd want something that gives me minus one initiative. But in saying that, a lot of the monsters go before, especially later on, before the heroes. So then you've got your normal gear cards, at least I'm going to check to see if there is. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 of these. So... 
it might be more than that actually I may have pulled some cards together so I'm going to do one and two for the gear cards and let's have a quick look okay <laughs> a hero's Kimo plus one grit plus two sanity that's not too bad and then we go to here uh, tonics yeah so again I I hasten to add if I was playing uh, Forbidden Fortress I wouldn't want to mix these with if I was in the mines I don't know let me know in the comments down below would you guys anyway I'm just thinking if I'm in the mines I should I should draw the gear cards that are for the mines if I'm doing this I would try and do the gear cards that are specifically for Forbidden Fortress because I, I just don't think you would find like a western hat there I, I, again I'm just being pretantic really a um, little bit anal retarded I suppose but yeah there's a lot of models you get with this as well so I think you got your core well yep yeah. so these I need to add to my other sets Oh, there's a couple. Oh, wow. They've got mines. That's cool. So you can go to... Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's made my day to see that. So you've got some fire magic, uh, water, wind. Got the earth. Yep, earth. So all the elements. Then you've got Samurai Battle Tactics. Again, I'm not going to show these things. I think these things are more for the heroes. Ninja Clans. And saddlebags that hold up to seven items. Now, is that more than the original ones? I thought it was five the original could hold. But I, I will check that because, again, it's been a while since I played. <laughs> I'd have to recheck that. Anyway, guys. Okay, so I'm not going to take the moles out and show them properly. But there's some of your undead. There's quite a few of them there. Again, this is the mini boss, which is the woman that floats around on her hair. I can't pronounce. Let's put you there. Let's put you there for a minute. Um, the living statue. You get one of them. Put you over there for a the minute. You get at least three of those only. Those are your ogres. There's six of the stick. Tentacles. Oh, well, wow. I'm not sure how many there are of these guys. Uh, there's a few. So let me get the rule book just so you know. There are. Oh, let me wipe that off. Okay, so the bird demons, which are the Tengo, there are. Six of them. And then obviously this is your hero sprue. Again guys, as I said, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on the heroes. Uh, let me know. I'm more than willing to do that. Even vote as well, if, that, if you want that to be my next video. Let me know in the comments. So, yeah. Anyway guys, also remember... For the next unboxing, I will be adding up the video um, tally. So if you do say to me, no, Matt, we'd like to see the enemies from this, I'll do that. Or do the heroes from the core set. Again, that can be something I, I will, will allow as a vote. Or if you want one of these along here, except for the, gas, the Gastro Tyrant. I've already done that video, done it earlier today and released it. Anyway, guys, I hope you will. But if I get no votes, I'll do the flesh mites as my next video and then maybe i'll do the monsters and heroes from this set anyway guys i hope you're having a good day i am i need to actually put this back because i forgot to put certain things back in what they should be done done before all right guys anyway if you like this video please give a like if you'd like to subscribe please do everyone is welcome hopefully my dyslexia wasn't too bad for you um I've enjoyed actually doing this I, i'm really really makes me want to play it again but i've got to make some room if i do Anyway, guys, I hope all's good. I hope all's well. Like, subscribe, notifications. Please remember them three. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the game. I know it's been out for a little while. I'm really, 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 
sort of like let me also know what you think about like not mixing the um the gear cards because i think if you're in the uh forbidden fortress i think it should more be the feudal japan stuff and if you're in the mines it should be the guns and stuff like that like the western stuff anyway guys hope you're all well see you later bye <laughs>